Hey everyone, welcome to today's Devo. If you had a chance to listen to the message this last week, Mac shared something with us that that was a, a great piece of information. He said, whenever you try to get to the with the flesh, whenever you try to align with the flesh and, and solve your problems with that, you'll miss the blessing. He said, if you look for the world for answers, you're going the wrong way. And I have people in my life that um, are trying to leave a certain season of their life or a certain stage of their life, I should say, um, of leaving the world or leaving worldly friends, a worldly scene, the party scene, whatever it looks like, and trying to do it the right way. Because the world will tell you this is the way. The world will say, um, God doesn't have the best in your interest. This has the best in your interest. Drugs, sex before marriage, pornography, alcohol, um, uh bisexual uh, homosexuality transgender it'll say this is the way for identity that will that will please you and we we see that what we are stuck in is a confused state and there's times where i've looked to the world and where it led me was down in the gutter it led me in hopelessness and chaos and just trying to continue to fill the void with those worldly things and it wouldn't happen so how do we not look to the world? What does the Bible say? Don't just take my word for it. If you have your Bibles, I hope you do, open up and turn to Romans chapter 12. We're going to look at what this looks like to not be conformed to this world or the thoughts of this world, but let something change us. And let's see what that something is. It says this in 12 verse 1. Therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of the mercies of God, I urge you, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. If I really want to worship God, I have to give him my life. I have to worship him with all of me, not just a piece of me, not just on Sundays, not just Wednesdays, or not just a Bible study time, but all the time. Does God have every single key to every single door, to every single compartment of your heart, or there's still things you're holding on to. You want to truly worship him? Give him all of you. This is the way to do it. Give him your body as a sacrifice. Verse 2, do not be conformed to this age, or some translations, this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This is where repentance comes from. It's renewing your mind. It's a new way of thinking, new way of living. So that you may discern what is good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. So guess what? You want to know what God's will is for you? This is it. It's good and pleasing and perfect. You get to see that. How do I get to see his will? I want to know his plan because I try to make shortcuts. We saw that in the message. God had a plan and they didn't want to wait. They want to take it into their hands. How do we do that? It says... Do not be conformed to this age or to this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind. So I need to know that the way that the world's been telling me things, the way I've been thinking that the world has, is not the right way to think. This is what needs to transform my mind. The, the, the Word of God. This right here is all about Jesus. This is Jesus. The Word became flesh. And then when we said yes to Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit in us that seals us, that will reveal things to us and help us understand this. The Holy Spirit helps bring this to life and for us to understand it. And when we say yes, we look at this, we let this renew our mind, not go to the world, go to the word and watch what comes to light. And you're going to say, oh my gosh, I've been doing it wrong this whole time. I had no idea. The world's been telling me this. Jesus says this. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know if there's a verse that you have that you go to to help guide you when it's the word versus the world. Take care. We'll see you next time.